Imagine if, hidden from our view, there's another world made up of dark matter that mirrors our own with its own versions of particles and forces. New research explores the idea that both our world and this dark world could have been created to be similar in many ways, including how much matter they have. It's like looking into a cosmic mirror and seeing a shadowy reflection of our universe, helping us understand why our universe is the way it is. A new study published on January 22, 2024, proposes a theory that dark matter is actually another universe that is a mirror image of our world. This study presents an intriguing proposition that dark matter, which makes up a significant portion of the universe's total matter, exists in a dark sector. This dark sector is thought to mirror the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles and forces that govern the visible or baryonic matter. If you are wondering, the baryonic matter is the type of matter that makes up the ordinary objects we see around us, including stars, planets, and humans. It consists of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Baryonic matter is what we understand best because it interacts with light, allowing us to see and study it with telescopes and other instruments. It contrasts with dark matter which does not interact with light in the same way and is thus invisible and much harder to detect directly. Essentially, the idea is that just as our familiar world is made up of particles like electrons and protons, there might be dark versions of these particles that make up dark matter. This hypothesis suggests a structured and complex universe beyond what we can see, with dark matter playing a critical role in its makeup potentially offering insights into the cosmic balance of baryons and dark matter. The study introduces an innovative concept of approximate Z2 exchange symmetry between the regular matter sector and the parallel dark matter sector. Z2 exchange symmetry refers to a type of symmetry in physics where swapping all particles with their corresponding mirror particles in a parallel sector or system doesn't change the overall behavior or properties of the system. In the context of dark matter, it suggests that there's a hidden, parallel world of dark matter that mirrors our own particle physics, but with its own dark particles. This symmetry means that the processes and structures in our visible universe have counterparts in the dark matter universe, potentially explaining how both came to exist in their current forms. Imagine you have two teams playing a game where each team has its own set of rules, but in a strange way, these rules mirror each other. In our universe, there's a team we know well, made up of particles like protons and electrons, which we can see and study. Then there's a hidden team made of dark matter with its own dark particles, like dark neutrons. The study suggests there's a kind of mirror rule connecting these two teams, allowing them to have similar amounts of particles. This mirror rule might explain why the universe is structured the way it is, with just the right amount of dark matter to make galaxies and stars possible. It's a way of saying these two worlds are mirror images of each other, following similar laws, even if we can't see one of them. In this model, dark matter is composed of stable dark neutrons, analogous to neutrons in our visible universe. The symmetry suggests a fascinating connection. The asymmetries in both matter and dark matter, which are essential for the existence of galaxies, stars, and planets, and possibly dark structures, arise through similar mechanisms. These mechanisms are parallel to the weakly interacting massive particles, baryogenesis processes known in the standard model, suggesting a deep-rooted symmetry and connection between the visible and dark sectors of the universe. Weakly interacting massive particles are hypothetical particles considered potential candidates for dark matter. They are called weakly interacting because they do not strongly interact with normal baryonic matter and are thought to only interact through the weak nuclear force and gravity. Massive 
indicates they have a unique non-zero mass, which could account for the gravitational forces we observe that hold galaxies together. Despite their absence of radiation or other matter, we can directly detect. Baryogenesis is the theoretical process that describes how the universe ended up with more baryonic matter, matter made up of baryons, like protons and neutrons, than anti-baryonic matter, the corresponding antiparticles immediately following the Big Bang. This process aims to explain the imbalance between matter and antimatter, ultimately allowing the baryonic matter to prevail and structure the universe as we know it. Understanding the parallel mechanisms between weakly interacting massive particles and baryogenesis processes in both the visible and dark sectors suggests a fundamental symmetry and interconnectedness of the entire universe. This concept not only provides a potential explanation for the observed cosmic abundance of baryons in dark matter, but also opens new avenues for exploring the nature of dark matter and its interaction with the visible universe. The research paper also explains how the universe and everything we can't see in it, like dark matter, have changed over time. It looks at important moments, like when dark matter started to keep to itself because of the universe getting bigger, when the universe got warm again in a way that made more of what we can see and less of what we can't, and when matter won over antimatter. It also explains why dark matter didn't go through the same steps to form things like stars, showing how our universe and the dark matter in it followed similar but different paths to become what they are today. The paper delves into how this theoretical model of dark matter can be tested through experiments, focusing on the role of heavy particles, massive mediators, in making dark matter detectable. These mediators could influence how dark matter interacts with regular matter offering clues that experiments could pick up. The study concludes that the proposed model, suggesting a mirrored relationship between the visible and dark matter sectors of the universe, offers a compelling explanation for the observed cosmic abundance of baryons and dark matter. It highlights the importance of experimental probes and the role of massive mediators in detecting dark matter, emphasizing the potential for new discoveries. This work underscores the significance of exploring the dark sector to understand the fundamental structure of the universe and the matter-dark matter coincidence, paving the way for future research and observations that could unlock the mysteries of our cosmos. For those intrigued by the universe's evolution and the mysterious role of dark matter, the study offers a deep dive into how both visible and dark matter have shaped our cosmos. It navigates through complex processes like freeze-out, asymmetric reheating, and the formation of matter over antimatter, presenting a parallel development of the universe's seen and unseen aspects. To explore this research further and gain a comprehensive understanding of these phenomena, we recommend accessing the full study for a detailed exploration under the link in the video description.